there's clearly other ways to do just about everything other than shoot someone with a gun. Well, we have team coverage tonight following a deadly shooting in downtown Madison. Officers have arrested two suspects, Damone Cummins and Amond Galtney. We still don't know the victim's name, just that he was in his 30s and he was from Madison. Brady Mallory begins our team coverage with the charges that they'll likely face. Brady? Well, at first, these two were listed as persons of interest. Two days after the shooting, police believe they have enough evidence for them to face criminal charges. Today, police confirmed the jail had just released the victim when someone shot him. Investigators found at least 12 bullet casings at the scene. A nearby officer tried to give first aid, but the victim died later at the hospital. Cummins is facing first degree intentional homicide, possession of heroin with the intent to distribute, possession of a machine gun, and obstructing officers. Galtney's charges include first degree intentional homicide as a party to the crime, eluding police and obstructing officers. Both have yet to be formally charged. The city of Madison is just 48 hours removed from its first homicide of 2022 as police shooting. Police Chief Sean Barnes says this was premeditated, preplanned, and a targeted incident. Our Brad Hamilton is live downtown tonight with the community's reaction. Brad? Stunning and brazen. Not just the words from Madison's police chief, but also how Max and Jim Carpenter described Wednesday's shooting. An unthinkable tragedy just steps away from where they work. All is quiet on South Carroll Street today, and Jim Carpenter wants it to stay that way. I hope this is a one and done. Hope it'll never happen again. But on Wednesday, South Carroll Street became a place of chaos. Just after 5 p.m., a man in his 30s was shot and killed shortly after walking out of the Dane County Jail. You can go see where the shots hit the building. They've got them all circled, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, Startling. Carpenter says that he was not working at the time of the shooting, but his son Max was. Max initially believed the sound of gunfire was just a car backfiring or some type of firework. He remained inside the apartment complex until he heard someone screaming for help. Well, you just don't expect things like that to happen in daytime. Maybe you don't expect things like that to happen anywhere in the city at all. In the two days since, it the police chief brazen. has pledged more patrols, security, and even offered his officers to escort people to their cars. It's something that Jim Carpenter would not have believed possible until now. Pretty amazing, quite frankly. As the, as the police, police chief said, it's pretty brazen to do it right in front of the, the Madison Central Police Department. And if you want any more information about this entire incident, our web team has incredible coverage online at channel3000.com. Brad Hamilton reporting live. Brad, thank you.